There's no shortage of laser levels out on the market today. And what I wanna to try to answer in this video is why you might consider buying this one over all the other options that you have. Now this company makes different laser levels. And in my opinion, they're all good quality, great laser levels. But this model in particular, what it's trying to do that a lot of the other models don't is have high visibility. Because one of the downsides to all laser levels is in direct sunlight, they kind of don't work. At least that's been my experience. Even the you know best top level ones, you're not really going to be able to use them in direct sunlight, at least not the same way that you would use it on the inside. So I wanted to set some realistic expectations on what this guy can do. So you have a better understanding if this is going to meet your needs. But the big difference with this guy is that it's sending out a very bright laser, which can be really helpful for being in high light situations. So I have a pretty good setup here where we've got, you know, shaded area and then we've got direct sunlight and we're going to be able to see, you know, how this laser does. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on and you can see when we're outside, but not in direct sunlight, this is actually very impressive. But just so you can get an idea, I have another red laser that you can't even see. It's the same distance away and you like literally can't even see it. That's the difference between this laser level and another one. Let me, I'm going to grab it. I've got it sitting on top of of this laser and I'm gonna slowly bring it in and see if we can ever even see this thing. See, now you can kind of see it. And as we back out, it gets harder and harder for it to pick up. So I can already tell you to be outside and a solid 10 foot away, this is really impressive. But what you're gonna notice is as we get farther away and as the sun gets brighter and brighter as we move, it's gonna be harder and harder to see it to where you kind of actually can't see it anymore. So see how it disappears. So I wanna set realistic expectations, but there's a couple other tricks that they provide to help you see it in direct sunlight. So I can actually see it a lot farther than the camera can, but let's see if I put this over, if it works on the camera. It should, and it's hard for me to tell what the camera's picking up, make it easier to see that line. So they provide these glasses that indirect sunlight make it a little bit easier to see the line. I can see the line, it's right here, but you probably can't see it. And I'm not sure if the camera is gonna pick that up or not, but it definitely helps. Another trick they have is this guy right here. And what you can do with this guy, we can put this on the laser to be able to see where are we at. We can kind of see. So if you can't see and you know, well, I think it's like right here, I need to put a nail or something there. You can hold this next to it and then you can see, okay, right on that one, drop a nail there. So as you're working outside and you can't see the laser, you can use this as a tool to help you see where it is. As you can see, as I'm moving down here, I can see it on here, but I can't see it on the wall due to the bright sunlight. Now this is in direct sunlight and hopefully, I'm not sure if it's picking up the camera, I can see the lasers right there because of that bit of shade. And then if I hold this over, I can actually see, hoping the camera picks this up, where that is on my tool here. So even in direct sunlight, with the help of this, you can see where the laser is, but it's not gonna be like looking here where you can just clearly see on the wall where the laser is. Now, when it comes to interior, this thing is phenomenal. And if you look, I have very, very bright uh, daylight bulbs up there. So it is really bright in my garage, brighter than most garages. And you can see the laser on this garage door right here is very visible and easy to see. You can actually see I have another regular type laser level next to it. So you can kind of get an idea. One is red, one is green, but you can see it's a night and day difference between visibility and the laser level is 43 foot away over there. So it is extremely impressive. Even when I'm putting the camera up at the bright light, which those are LED daylight bulbs, you can still see it on the ceiling. So, you know, inside you're not gonna have any issues being able to see this laser level, even from a drastically far distance away. I don't have a big enough building to be able to test its limits. All right, so pretty simple functionality. I like that on the bottom, it has the quarter inch as well as the five eighths inch thread types for the versatility, for whatever you're mounting it on, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Those are the most common types for different kinds of equipment. and then. And to actually operate it, you've got a little uh, USB-C import right here. So if your batteries die or you don't wanna use your battery, you can actually just plug it in. However, what I believe will be most common is operating it on battery and you've got this little door right here. It comes with two batteries, which is really nice. You've got your lock and unlock 
here, which is going to lock or unlock those self-leveling lasers. So the instant I turn this to unlock, it's gonna turn on that laser and you can probably see it in there moving around. So to a certain degree, like if you're on unlevel ground, you can see I can move this a little bit, make it unlevel. It'll still self-level itself, but it's gonna beep to let you know if you're gonna have to actually adjust how you mounted it rather than letting this self-level itself. And you've got three buttons up top. The H is horizontal, the V is vertical. So if you press the H, it only has one horizontal 360 level it's just going to turn that off and then you actually have two vertical one going in this plane one going in this plane and then obviously the horizontal is going in that plane so you have that full 3d picture but if you press the v it's going to turn one of them on you press it again it's going to turn the other one on you press it again it'll turn them both on and then that fourth time is going to turn them both off so then you've got this right here if you press this button, you'll notice this little light comes up right here, which is for uh, a reading gauge, which it doesn't come with this. So you probably won't use that, but if you have one or you're gonna use one, um, that is gonna pulse it so that you can get a reading. So I'll just press that again to turn it off. There's a battery indicator light right there to let you know when you're going low battery. And then if you want to have just the laser, but not have it self level, what you can do is you actually are going to go ahead and put it down as is, let it do its thing. And then you're gonna lock it into place. So I'm gonna lock it into place so now it's not going to move around now if i hold this down for two seconds it's going to turn that laser on but just know that it's not level but the reason you might want to do this is if you're trying to get like a 45 degree line for some reason or you're just trying to match up you know a line that's maybe just straight but not level you can do that with this being locked and you get that locking mode right there if you just unlock this it'll disengage that you can turn it back off there and like i said pretty straightforward easy functionality you can just tell it's a very tactile feel it's got that like rubbery grip stuff and all the edges are rounded off no hard edges and you know they say it's shock resistant like you could drop this and it's not going to break i don't want to test it because i like taking good care of my equipment but you can tell just by looking at it that it was built tough and looks like it could take some damage it is ip54 so weatherproof you can tell like when you open up the battery gauge there's a rubber seal all the way around and stuff so this should do fine if you accidentally leave it out in the rain or something like that you know it's, it's meant to be on a job site for professional use and that is the feeling I get from this. I haven't been able to test it for years and say that it's super durable and full disclosure, they did give this to me for free in exchange for a video. They didn't limit anything I could say. They said I could be completely honest and just give my true personal opinion, but I did want to disclose. I think that I am biased since I did get it for free. So I just wanted to be upfront about that. It does come in this blow molded case, good for taking on a truck, um, protects everything and you've got everything that fits. This is for another battery, but. I I just have it in here right now but you know you got your stuff to charge it up your extra battery your visibility helpers and then this thing is really cool you can uh, mount it right here with the quarter 20 threads it also has an extra 5 8 thread there um, it's got a nail hole there it's got these so if you want to attach it to like a piece of wood or something that you can slide in there and then anchor it down here and then have your flat surface this is nice moving it up and down nice fluid motion if you're really trying to dial in you know the height and then you turn this inside one here to lock it in so it doesn't move around on you pull this it'll open up and right here is magnets and these magnets are strong like you can hopefully see throw it on something like that and then it's gonna sit right there I mean it's a pretty strong magnet but obviously it gives you a lot of versatility depending on you know where you're trying to work at if you've got some I-beams or something you can just attach it on there real quick this thing's pretty handy and versatile